In this video lecture, we will be seeing a question 3 of exercise 12.3 from chapter circles. The question is, if two circles intersect at two points, then prove that their centers lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord. First, let us understand what is it asking in the question. Here it is telling that there are two circles and those two circles they meet at two different points that is given to us. That is if I show you in rough it means that there are two circles and these two circles they are meeting at two distinct points it means two different points. Then we have to prove that their centers means the center of circle 1 and center of circle 2 they lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord. What is the perpendicular bisector of the common chord? We know that chord is a line segment. This is my chord. Chord is a line segment which joins two points of a circle. So we can see that if we draw a chord from these two different points which are meeting the circle. This is my chord for this circle as well as this is my chord for this circle. So it is telling that the perpendicular bisector must lie on the common chord. So if I join these two centers, this is my perpendicular bisector. That is my diagram in rough. I will show you neatly also. Two circles are given because it is telling that two circles are meeting at two points means I will draw two circles like this. Let us join the, let us make the centers, let the center be A, let the center of the circle be B. Now we know that they are meeting at two points, we can see. So these are my two circles which are meeting at these two points. Then now I have to prove that these centers, they lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord. So what is the common chord which is common to this circle as well as this circle? This is my chord which is common to this circle as well as this circle. So let us join those both. This chord, you can see it is there in this circle. See, suppose this is my circle. This is also my circle. We can see this chord is there in this circle as well as this chord is there in this circle also. So this is my common chord which is common to both these circles. Now these centers when I join them they will become perpendicular to this chord. That is only my question. See this and this. These both are what at 90 degree means they are perpendicular. That only I have to prove. Let this point of meeting be P. Let this point of meeting be Q. Let this center be O of the chord and also I have to prove that OP is equals to OQ because here it is telling that the centers lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord. These centers they lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord means this is perpendicular this I have to prove that that is a angle POA is equals to angle QA is equals to 90 degree that I have to prove and also I have to prove that OB is equals to OQ that is it is a perpendicular bisector. Bisector means which divides it into two equal parts and perpendicular means 90 degree. So these are the two things which I have to prove. So let me start writing and what is given? It's given that A and B are centers of two circles and I have to prove that OP is equals to OQ and also have to prove that angle AOP is equals to angle QOP is equals to how much? 90 degree. That is it is a perpendicular bisector of the it is a perpendicular bisector of the common chord. Now let me do the proof. For doing the proof I need to consider triangles. 
So what I'll do is I'll join AP, I'll join AQ, I will join PB and I will join BQ. Now I am going to consider triangle APB this triangle and triangle AQB this triangle and I am going to prove them to be congruent. So in triangle APB and triangle AQB I know that AP is equals to AQ because this is the radius of this circle. So AP is equals to AQ and then also I know that PB is equals to QB because this is the radius for this circle PB is equals to QB these are the radiuses we know that it's given next in this two triangles we know that AB is common to this triangle APB as well as this AB side is common to this triangle AQB so I can say AB is equals to AB common. So by side 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 congruency rule I can prove the triangles are congruent. Triangle APB congruent to triangle AQB. Since the triangles are congruent I can prove that uh, let this angle be angle 1. For simplicity purpose angle P A O I am naming as angle 1 and angle Q A O I am naming as angle 2. So by CPCT for these two triangles I know that the corresponding angles are also equal. So by CPCT I can prove angle 1 is equals to angle 2. Now what I will do is I will consider triangles A O P and triangles A O Q and make them to be congruent. And by CPCT I can prove that this angle is 90 degree okay and the sides are also equal op and oq so i'm going to consider these two triangles now aop and aoq so in triangle aop and triangle aoq i know that ap is equals to aq because it is the radius that i know and it's given also then i know angle one is equals to angle two just now i have proved by cpct okay Next, I know that AO is equals to AO is common for this triangle APB and A AOP and this triangle AOQ. So by S A S congruency rule, the two triangles are congruent. AO is equals to AO common. Side, angle, side. Congruency, the two triangles are congruent. triangle AOP congruent to triangle AOQ. Now what can I say by CPCT? I can say by CPCT that angle POA is equals to angle QOA because I'm con I want to consider this angle because I need to prove them equal and 90 degree. So by CPCT I can say angle AOP is equals to angle QA. By CPCT angle AOP is equals to angle QOA and also I can say OP is equals to OQ by CPCT. Now I need to already have proved both are equal but not that one more condition is I have proved they are bisecting that I have proved now I have to prove them they are perpendicular they are 90 degree. Means I know that if I consider this line segment POQ, it is a straight line. Means it forms linear pair that is angle POA plus angle QOA is equals to 180 degree because it is linear pair. Angle POA plus angle QOA is equals to 180 degree since it is forming a linear pair. And just now I have proved that angle AOP is equals to angle QOA. 
let this be equation 1 now what I'll do is I'll substitute equation 1 and equation 2 that is in place of angle QOA I'll write angle AOP or POA both are same angle POA plus instead of angle QA what I'll write angle AOP or POA that is same so I know 2 angle POA plus angle POA is 2 angle POA is equals to 180 degree now angle POA is equals to 180 into 2 if it goes that side becomes divided by 2 2 1s are 2 9s are so I know that angle POA is equals to 90 degree similarly I can say since angle POA is equals to 90 degree angle QA is also 90 degree okay so therefore I have proven that the angles are 90 degree and they are bisecting also therefore centers lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord hence the question is proved hope you have understood this question if you have understood this question then please like share and subscribe thank you very much for watching